Hello, Kees here from the new workshop. Well, if you want to call it a workshop, because there's really not, not much there yet. But we'll be doing the first project here with a pumpkin for Halloween. I used some carbon paper uh, and some prints outs to put this stencil on it. And I will be cutting it out right now. But first, let me tell you a bit about the stencil I used. I used a black and white picture from Johnny from The Shining, which seems like a suitable picture for a Halloween pumpkin to me. And I played around with high contrast and different brightnesses and eventually inverted the image so the black parts show which uh, parts I should cut out from the pumpkin. I've used two different templates with different brightnesses to create a two-tone image so part of it will be cut out uh, entirely and part of it will be cut out only half so I get this white and grey effect. I use a ballpoint to trace the contours uh, both on the carbon paper and on the pumpkin itself to make it more visible. And here you see me tracing the second template. And now it's time to start cutting it out using an X-Acto knife. At this point I did not yet hollow out the pumpkin because this made it easier to see where I was cutting because the white pumpkin flesh uh, made a stark contrast with the orange peel. And once I had cut out all the white pieces I then started hollowing out the pumpkin itself. And finally removing the last pieces of pumpkin flesh. By doing so I created the white parts of the image and after that uh, I used the Dremel to uh, remove the last pieces of flesh I couldn't get to with the knife. And then I started cutting out the grey uh, parts of the image, so the second template, using the X-Acto knife again. It's starting to get shaped, so now it's just a matter of putting in the fine touches. Some parts needed to be a bit lighter, other parts uh, uh, needed a bit more of the grey. And I added some more details here and there. And there you have it, uh, Johnny, here's Johnny from The Shining, a pumpkin. So I thought this effect worked quite nice and if you want to do this as well, you can make your own templates by using a free photo editing software like GIMP. Or I will also add the templates I used for Johnny in the description of the video. So feel free to use them and make your own Johnny pumpkin.
I hope you enjoyed this video of the first project in the well, sort of workshop, even though it's not really a workshop yet. I wish you all a happy Halloween and see you soon. Cheers!